Your problem playboys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, man, you guys can't even see me, huh? I can't even see what I'm looking at, but in today's video, man, we're gonna be getting Dusty E tuned again. So as you guys asked for on Instagram, uh, I am gonna be recording my experience E tuning, and the person that I'm gonna be getting tuned by is Jost Tuned. If you guys don't know who he is, I'm gonna put his Instagram right here so you guys can see it. Go check out his Instagram. This guy has been gapping people in Texas. And uh, this man, he knows he knows what he's doing and he knows how to tune. So we're gonna jump on into the tune. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how you do it, blah, blah, blah. And uh, we're just gonna talk. So yeah, I'm uploading the tune now. So this is the second tune by Yosh. Uh, the reason why it's my second tune and not my first tune is because I did already uh, send him da data logs and I did already record a tune with him. I just forgot to record it on my GoPro. So you guys didn't, are not gonna see that footage. Uh, very very basic footage. It was just me driving driving around the city for 10 minutes and doing a third gear pull at 2000 rpm with no VTEC and a rev levener at 600 or not 600 uh, 16,000 So yeah, we're gonna be doing the same thing today and uh, we're gonna talk and uh, You know, I'm gonna tell you guys my future plans with Dusty, you know stuff that I want to do with her and yada 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 so right now what I'm doing is uploading to the car. I don't know if you guys could see that. Hopefully you guys could see that. I don't know what you guys could see on this GoPro. Hopefully it's just not blurry as hell. But um, yeah, she's almost done. As you guys can see, almost done. All right, guys, the tune is done. I'm gonna turn off the car and turn it back on. That should pop away, yep. some like topics to talk about but I don't know what to talk about I guess I can address one thing so I know you, you guys are probably watching the video and you guys are probably like wasn't you uh just dirt and then you went to handy but now you're you're yosh like which tuner are you picking like what what tuner do you you know you like i have no problem with all these tuners um yosh is just a really really cool ass cool ass guy and also he he watches my videos so he's also a supporter of the channel which i find that i find that pretty damn dope so the reason why i'm on yosh is just because of it's not just because I like his work, like his quality of work, and from what people tell me, he's really, really good at what he does. It's not every day you meet a tuner who says, "Yeah, bro, I'll watch your videos. I know, I know what you do. Like, I, I love what you do. You feel me?" So that, I find that pretty damn dope. Also, that man be gapping people, and he self-tuned. So anybody self-tuned gapping people, I, I put my, I put my trust in them. All right, guys, so what I'm doing right now, I'm giving you 10 minutes of daily driving, uh, giving him different gears, different gear loads, not gear loads, engine loads, so he could uh, tune his car to be a reliable street car. Car sounds good, though. From the first one that he sent me, the car sounds way better, and it feels way smoother. I like it, I like it. I'm liking it so far, Joe's. I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it. So packed out here today. Like I know it's a Saturday night, but sheesh, go home. Why are you all out? Dang man, I'm trying to data log. They are all on the streets. Yo, Dusty sounds so good. So my plans for Dusty, as you guys probably already could get a hint, is actually going turbo in the future. Um, I was thinking of doing a head swap. But like I said, I think in a couple, of, couple of my videos, or no, I don't even think I said this in one of my videos. I feel like head swapping your car is dope if you just want to stay all motor and uh, you're not trying to make crazy horsepower and you just want some quick, some quick easy 
horsepower. Well, it's not really easy unless you do the work. But um, I guess it's less more. It, I don't know. I guess it's less headaches than I'm trying to say. Like, if you guys have an experience with turbo nitrogen, you guys definitely have to go experience one and then go experience a head swap car. Both both cars are lovely. Both cars are lovely, but turbo I can always lower the boost to make less power. I'll go to turn the boost up to make more, more power. So I don't know. Woo! I don't know if you guys can hear them pops. I miss them pops. Not all pops are equal though, so you gotta understand some pops could be bad, some pops could be good. Some pops could be cool. Some pops could just sound like complete booty cheeks. But yeah, my plan is to go turbo with Dusty just because I feel like I have more control of how much power I want to make. Not more control, but like I can understand that if I want to make more horsepower, I don't have to go buy a kit to throw on my head swap motor to go make more power. I could just up the boost and chase some injectors out, you know? That's my decision. If you guys don't like it, I'm sorry. You go head swap your car. You go head swap your car and spend all that money just to make it make almost 300 horsepower, a little bit over 300 horsepower, unless you throw some nitrous on it. A head swap nitrous knife gen? That sound deadly. I think, hmm, hmm. But I don't like the fact that you gotta heat up the nitrous bottle every for every race, then you gotta refill it. That's like, bro, imagine you have to refill your turbo so you can get boost. I feel like that would be terrible. Like, imagine that every race, you got to go get a damn boost bottle and refill your turbo so you can have some boost. Imagine, imagine if life was like that. Hell no. That's crazy. Alright guys, so I just finished the 10 minute driving uh, dialogue. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do a third gear pull. And uh, it's going to be one of the slowest pulls you guys ever seen in your life. Oh, orange. Come on. Let's get this going, man. send here the bass tune um so like the instructions say give me a 10 minute uh, log of some city driving and highway driving all together and then on the uh, third year pull um find a flat even surface road and then uh it'll help it if you like set yourself a marker right so whenever make sure you're going the exact same direction every single time on that road and whenever you hit that marker just just smash the throttle pedal at 2000 rpms um, for this go around, we're gonna uh, work on the low cam, so there's not gonna be no VTEC, right? We're gonna see where you make maximum brake torque or uh, peak torque power on the low cam, right? Um, so start at 2000, smash it, and then you'll bounce off 6000 RPMs. So um, 
this is great especially as we dial in your um, city driving and then also um, see where you make peak power on the low cam um, uh, it usually takes around three to four calibrations on my end until we start playing with VTEC and then once VTEC comes in you know we'll, we'll suddenly VTEC low uh, play with the cam angles ignition timing and make sure the AFRs are smooth and then see where the low cam and high cam cross and then that'll be your VTEC point right um, and then afterwards once we're done fully tuning on 93 we'll uh, fill the tank with full 85 and then from there on out um, activate the fuel flex fuel sender and then from there on out it's pretty much we're pretty much done afterwards so yeah bro uh shouldn't take too long um you know i'll try to get uh the tunes out to you as soon as possible whenever i uh, receive your logs all right guys so this is the second day i didn't record yesterday because um not record but i didn't finish up the video yesterday because i wanted to have some sun and i didn't want to record in my room for some reason but yeah um i'm here to explain to you what the ocean is doing to the car so the reason why you guys are probably asking like why is he uh trying to tune without VTEC and stuff like that so from what he told me i'm gonna put what he said right here and i think he said it in some voice messages but uh what he's doing he's trying to see where i make peak torque so we can set a VTEC point so um that's why we tune without VTEC for the first two pulls and the rev limiter is only set at 6,000 because there's no point in me to rev all the way up to 78 to figure out what my torque peak is at. And also, we don't need to rev that high to set where a nice VTEC point could be. Um, I'm hoping VTEC is between, I'm guessing it's going to be like around 5,000, a little bit below 5,000, which is, which is going to be pretty nice, man. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, also, the reason why it's set at 6,000 for the rev limiter is also so I don't have to break anything. You know, daily driving on a very conservative tune. Um, I don't think there's any reason for me to be driving my car aggressive. So, yeah. Um, what we're doing now, we're going to start adding more timing. Well, he's going to start adding more timing. And as we progress and add more timing and timing, you know, ladder VTEC, more power. And then eventually when I go 85, he can put more timing. And then Dusty's is going to be moving. For a stock motor, stock motor, all motor, K24, Z7, I hope I can make like close to 230. But... I know I'm not gonna make over 235 because I don't have a, a ported manifold and stuff like that. But I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably make it like 230. But yeah, but that's what Yosh is doing. By the way, he did send me the, the tune for today, the third tune. So you guys probably see a video on that. I don't know. It's gonna be the same 10 minute driving with a third gear pull. But I think I am gonna record it so you guys can see the difference between the pulls. This is my first time really recording stuff like this. I never recorded me getting e tune, so this is kind of different. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to make it funny informative and detailed at the same time so yeah um second video is coming out soon this is the first video second video is gonna be pretty good i already know how i'm gonna get that going so yeah man if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more please leave a like comment subscribe also if you guys want something if you guys could leave a comment on what topics you guys want me to talk about while i'm doing these type of videos like the e-tune process uh, that'd be pretty dope because it's kind of hard to figure out what you want to talk about but yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Your boy's out. Peace.